Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool, and today I've got a little uh, unboxing. This is something that Amazon recommended to me. And you know how you get, you choose something and then it, as soon as you uh, kind of commit, it serves up all kinds of versions of what you just got. Um, sometimes Amazon has something that I never knew existed and then it's like, I gotta order that. Um, and this is one of those things. So let's open it and find out what we've got. Uh, today I'll be opening it. This is the Benchcraft, or excuse me, Benchmade Bushcraft. It's a Seabert design knife, um, S90V steel, uh, harsh 90 degree edge here for, you know, if you wanted to do a, you know, start fire using a fire steel. That's why they put a an edge there. It's a drop point, nice my or a G10 handle, beautiful little red accents in the liners. Um, I love this knife. Um, it's got a dangler sheath with a fire steel spot so you can snap one in for all your bushcrafting needs. Let's get to it though. And what do we have here? It is the, look at that, the Klein Tools Electrician's Ratchet. So let's open this guy up and see what we've got to work with. There it is. And I thought, really? A 72 tooth ratchet, a small one, big hole, bit kit, hmm, built in kind of a little speeder or a uh, finger tightening component there that has a little place. Let me grab a screwdriver. Um, Let's see what this looks like. Got a screwdriver, snap on screwdriver here. Is it gonna come out by hand? There we go. What am I working with? You know what? This is a job for the snap on. Uh, zip tie cutter, but also this just comes in great. I'm just going to skip this whole thing here, snap that out, pop it off. Good. And then I'm going to cut this off. This is the uh, small bit set it comes with. Look at that precision, surgical precision. There we go. Now, what do we have? We've got a ratchet. We've got these bits. It's a magnetic ratchet. Um, slim line bits. It's got a quarter inch driver. These Notice how short those are. These are super low profile. And it's got a 72 tooth ratcheting uh, mechanism. Listen to that. Held it up towards my mic. And then a little flip switch down here for on and off. Uh, this is for both hooking it to something, but also reaching inside. I kind of like that. Instead of two fingers, you could do things with one finger. Let's take a look at these bits here. And figure out how to get one out. They go... Wow, are they in there? Um, maybe I should be able to use this somehow to push one out. There we go. Huh. Goodness use my screwdriver to wedge one out. So that's a pretty tiny bit. Um, let me compare that, say, uh, to a standard size. There's a little torque. So you can see they're really small. You know that, I guess that's for the low profile. Doesn't fit in that one. And it fits in this one. Wow, look at that. How, how flush that is, this whole thing here. Um, the reason what we've got is a speeder or the, the ability to twist it by fingers is on the outside. So it maintains a thin profile here. You 
actually have two different sized um, quarter inch and five sixteenths. So there's the quarter, there's the five sixteenths for just general nut driving there. Four different bits, three screwdriver bits and a quarter inch converter to hook onto um, some sort of a socket there. So this is 72 teeth. Feels definitely like it. It's not super strong, so I don't know if I'd crank on it like I would with something like this. In fact, you know, it's kind of cool to think about it, you know, which, how much force you can actually generate with a small one. But this is more for speed, for convenience, ability to ratchet something in, you know, when you're up against a wall. Um, and then as a driver, a, you know, a nut driver. Um, it's a Klein Tools and it was less than $15. A 72 tooth ratchet from Klein, less than $15 with bits. What's the problem? Well, the problem probably is, for some people, made in Taiwan. That's, that would be the downside if you were trying to stay with American-made everything. Um, I'm going to try it with a socket here, so I'm going to have to squeeze out another one of these bits. Um, here we go. Oh my goodness. That is crazy. I'm going to have to warranty my... Huh, I'm going to get pliers here. Hate to have to warranty my Klein bit driver because I can't get the bit out. Holy smokes, let me try some of the others. Grab this guy here, huh, or push it out. Okay, I got that one out. I don't know if I'll be using this bit holder. Got that one out, got that one out. Oh my gosh. That is crazy. Ah, there we go. Finally. All right. Maybe they're brand new. I don't know. Can I slide them back in and then will they come out? I guess that's why we get um, better bit boxes like this Snap-on here, which I'm going to be doing an update on when I get my Snap-on replacement. Oops. Yeah. Wow. They're a little different. Anyway, so I'm going to put that on here. Throw a socket on. Wow, pretty cool. So how does that compare to something like this? Grab another socket. So this is about, I don't know what these are, 120 bucks or something like that maybe. Versus the Klein. Klein probably isn't as strong but you're not supposed to be reefing on it with something like this, and it's a smaller lever arm. Machining looks good. Finish works good. Kind of neat. Anyway, that is my, uh, my unboxing there to try this thing out. I'll probably post an update. Man, that is really stuck in there. Let me get a different kind of pair of pliers. Here, we'll use the, uh, the snap-on um, high leverage pliers. Grab this thing. Ugh, there we go. Eh, play with it for that. See, maybe it'll loosen up. I guess it feels almost like the magnet is what's holding it in there. Wow. Anyway, um, so far for 15 bucks, um, I'm impressed. And I guess what I'm going to end up doing with it, like I do with a lot of my uh, um, Klein tools, you know, I've got the ones in my toolbox. Um, but then I've also got this guy here, which is my Klein tool backpack. And I can do a quick unzip of this. Spill it open. And I'll find a home for my ratchet in here. Wonder where that'll go. 
Maybe right. No, it doesn't fit. Dang, this thing is just too full. Ah, uh, there we go. Anyway, I'm happy now. So with that, dock out.